Last time on Races to Places, the Brazilian lady and Lyndon took a dip in the Arctic Ocean. Basil are now making their way onto the Dempster Highway, which is also known as Yukon Highway 5. This road connects the Klondike Highway in Yukon to Inuvik, and it stretches 457 miles. During winter months, it extends by a further 121 miles using frozen portions of the Mackenzie River. And I just stopped at the border between Yukon over there and Northwest Territories in Canada. There's a huge rainstorm over there you can see and uh, <laughs> I feel awesome. I'm just so... Uh, yeah. You alright Basil? My wheels are getting a bit tired to be honest Lyndon. But I'm no wimp. Let's push on. You're a good lad, aren't you? This reminds me of the ferry crossings in Russia on the BAM road, except the, uh, the boat's a little bit more developed. to Inuvik now, less than 100 miles, about 150 kilometers to get to Inuvik. When you're traveling as many miles a day as Linden, regular visual inspections of the bike are critical to check everything is where it should be. Just been uh, informed that my good friend Heiko Gantenberg from Germany who was in races to places in Laos and also in uh, in New Zealand is currently in Inuvik, so looking forward to meeting up with Heiko again. Notice the oversized tyres on this plane. I'm guessing the runways around here are gravel, snow and a little bumpy. Inuvik access, one kilometre. Dude, get out of bed, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the return of Heiko. Come here. Ah! <laughs> Too much. Yeah. Third time on a world trip, huh? Crazy. This is an okay spot. Ah, you're never too old to enjoy the thrilling speed of descending a slide in a child's play area. So, I made it up to Inuvik, Inuvik um, which is currently the most northern point you can go in Canada. To be honest, there's not much here and uh, the weather's a little bit overcast. Um, there is a new road up to a place called Tukyuktuk, which is on the Arctic Ocean. Um, but apparently it's not open yet, uh, but the road is finished. So I'm going to try and go north to Tukyuktuk first, before I turn around and go south. Hello Mr. Reindeer. So I just went to the visitors centre to ask for a little bit more info about the road and apparently the road is not actually due to open to the public for at least another year, 18 months yet, even though it's actually in. So, yeah, I guess uh, I guess it's not meant to be. Head south. 
Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't look like it's open yet. Um, clearly, me and Basil could get round there. I don't want to get into trouble, and I certainly don't want to be the one to violate what they're trying to do here. the road. <laughs> Let's try and uh, flip it round 90 degrees. And we're out. Woo! Just in time before the rain comes. <laughs> Pack of baby wolves. Baby wolves, look. How cool is that? Wow. <laughs> I've just seen a pack of wolves. keep mentioning I had a feeling as we entered Canada and Alaska the scenery was going to be unreal and I must say I wasn't far wrong. Beautiful spot. We've also got another guy's at Clint. Yeah we've picked Clint up today. Um, had a puncture and no spare tube so uh, Clint's uh, started the fire going. We're gonna have a good meal because I'm starving. Dried fish from Inivik, the north town that I went to. What you got there, Heiko? I got some dried fish here. What are you doing with it? I'm eating it. I'm loving it. <laughs> Where show you? Heiko. Yeah. Everywhere I go, you just show up. No, everywhere I go, you show up, man. I've been up here first. Yeah, you were always first. And I'm not even following you and you're always there. No, Laos, you were first. In my face. <laughs> nice campsite tonight. We've got the white elephant here. Heiko, and look at the scenery. That is just awesome. Beautiful spot. Dawson City is located in Yukon Territory and was inseparably linked to the Klondike Gold Rush. I love the design of the buildings here. Yeah, this trip. It's not recording. That's the last time we see on this trip, man. Yeah, this is the last time. We're just uh, filling up with gas at this point and going our separate ways now. We go um, to Alaska. Yeah, he's going to Alaska and I'm heading back down to the USA to start the long journey to Dakar. With Dakar looming in the near future, Lyndon knows keeping his fitness and flexibility on point is critical. Yeah, I'm pretty knackered now. <sighs> oh, I'm shaking. Lyndon is excited today. Bike Magazine journalist Llewellyn Pavey has invited Lyndon to take a test ride on the new Honda Africa Twin, which is a 1000cc bike and described by Honda as a true adventure motorcycle. So let's see how this goes.
let's go on three, okay? Yeah. So as soon as I say three, go. So one, two, three. So this is the DCT Africa Twin and uh, it's really like a really easy car to, dry, to ride if you're just going steady and off-road it was actually really really good but here's the gear change, here how smooth it is, second already, third, fourth, no clutch, fifth, sixth, absolutely seamless, don't even feel it going into gear. With the weather heating up the wildlife around here are innovators. When you're thirsty and you need to take a drink and you find a hose then you just drink from it, hey little fella? So it's not often I'm, uh, I find myself sitting in a car but I actually met these two great people, um, Kirsten and Cameron. I said one thing I'd like to do is go on a a uh, glacier flight and they were like yeah we've always been like to do that too um, but when you're traveling on your own it's quite expensive it's about $750 uh, for an hour's flight we're going for a glacier flight it's a lovely day outside it's absolutely throwing it down with rain so we're hoping in the next hour it's going to clear up so having the windscreen clean this morning I guess that's the one we're going in the plane will take Linden over the St Elias mountain range and then it will land on the ice field, which is just across from Mount Logan. Super excited to get out and we're going to go and uh, land on the ice field and hopefully get out and have a wander around. So we've just met Tom. Tom's going to be our pilot today and uh, he's just making sure that the airplane's ready, putting some fuel in it, uh, which is a good thing. So I'm trying not to distract him while, uh, while he gets the airplane ready. Very capable airplane. They used to land these on the top of Logan up at 18,000 feet. We'll be landing at about 8,500 feet, so still pretty high, higher than all the mountains right around us here. Now we're flying on skis, so nice and safe, flying over all of that snow and ice, and it means we can safely land up there too. This is going to be cool. A flight around the ice fields. And with the weather looking clear, I'm sure Lyndon is going to get some awesome shots for us. on the Hubbard Glacier, the largest non-polar glacier in the world. You can see the awesome scenery in the background. <laughs> Thanks for that guys. Next time on Races to Places, we'll be heading along the Canal Trail. <laughs>